I'm Peter Lyons and I work for Brisbane Airport Corporation as the project manager for the new runway. Following the site preparation and airfield design phases of the project, construction began on the Drones Road underpass in 2016 and on the airfield in 2017. There are multiple elements involved in the construction of Brisbane's new runway. The first stage of construction involves the removal of all the excess sand from the site. This process is called sand handling. In total, 5 million cubic metres of sand will be removed to allow for the laying of pavement and the installation of the lighting and the landscaping. The pavement includes 3.3 kilometres of runway itself, along with 12 kilometres of taxiways. This is made up of sand, fine crust rock and asphalt for the runway, while the taxiways are made up of sand, modified fine crust rock and the concrete. The Drones Road underpass will allow traffic to travel to the airport's northern facilities, while aircraft taxi above, between the terminals and the new runway. The underpass has been designed to withhold the weight of a fully laden A380, plus has been future-proof for heavier aircraft. An important element of construction is the airfield lighting, including the high-intensity approach lighting known as HIL. HIL is used to guide aircraft for landings. The lights stretch 720 metres from the north and south ends of the runway, with the northern end lights extending into Moreton Bay. Finally, the landscaping, which covers all areas around the runway and taxiways. In total, there are 300 hectares of landscaping required, the equivalent of 269 Suncorp stadiums. Prisma's new runway is an enormous collaboration. 90% of employees work on site, live in southeast Queensland, and together we will produce something that will serve Queenslanders and the growth of this region for decades to come.